right now? Divide by the cosine of 2 pi. Divide by the cosine of 2 pi. Cosine divided by cosine is 1. And what is this equal? What is the sine of 2x, do you think, divided by the cosine of 2x? Tangent of 2x. Draw a little arrow here. So how many revolutions am I going to do? Two revolutions. Okay, in the first revolution, where is the tangent equal to positive 1 in terms of radians? Pi over 4, and where else? And 5 pi over 4, right? That's, so that's two of, my, two of my tentative answers is pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. Okay, gotcha. And then, hold on one second, and then we have to go around one more time. Did everybody hear that? And then set each one of those equal to 2x and solve. So I'm going to keep going. You pack up your stuff. So 1 over 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 pi over 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that's make sure that's right, 14, 15, 16. So that's right. So this is what I have. And I'm going to take each one of those and take 2x equals 5 pi over 4. 2x equals 5 pi over 4, 2x equals 9 pi over 4, 2x equals 13 pi over 4. And now we need to solve for x. So dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half. That means one answer here should be 1 pi over 8. Another should be 5 pi over 8 because I'm multiplying by 1 half. Um, the third answer should be 9 pi over 8, and the final answer should be 13 pi over 8. And then you're going to take each one of these tentative answers, you're going to plug it back into the original equation, and you're going to make sure the left side equals the right side. Let me demonstrate one of them just to make sure that you do see it. So I come up here to mode, I am in radians, and so I'm going to do the sine of 2 times 1 pi divided by 8. Okay, this is what I have, and now I'll do the cosine of 2 times 1 pi divided by 8. And we can see the left side equals the right side, so this one works. And you're going to go through and you're going to check the other three remaining solutions, and I'll tell you right now, they do all work.